hello everyone welcome back to the map of mathematics in this video we are going to solve this nice math olympiad geometric problem so here we have a nice right triangle in which the length of the sides are x x minus 1 and x plus 1 and here uh, we need to solve this uh, uh, right triangle for the values of x so here we assume that this is the over right angle and this is the any other angle so you uh, you know that the uh, side opposite to the uh, right angle is known as the hypotenuse and the side which is joined by these two angles 90 and the other angle and this side is known as the base and similarly this side is known as the perpendicular or altitude so now uh, in order to find the values of x uh, here we need uh, to use the pythagorean theorem or pythagoras theorem and the pythagoras theorem is stated as hypotenuse square equals to base square and plus perpendicular square so this is known as the Pythagoras theorem. So now in order to solve this problem we will put the values of hypotenuse, base and perpendicular. And you see uh, in the triangle we have the high value of hypotenuse is x plus 1. So we put here and you obtain x plus 1 whole squared equals to the value of base is x and it will becomes x squared and the value of perpendicular is x minus 1 so when you put here it will becomes x minus 1 whole squared and in the next step uh, here we need to use the well-known square identities and you know about these identities if we have a squared plus b uh, if we have a plus b whole squared it is equals to a squared plus 2 times of a b plus b squared and similarly here we need to use uh, this identity a minus b whole squared equals to a squared minus 2 times of a b plus b squared so now we need to use these two square identities on the above expression and we will simplify the above terms so now first i can use this formula on the on the left hand side and we will get its output in this form x squared plus 2x plus 1 equals to x squared plus we can apply this formula on this term and we obtain x squared minus 2x plus 1 and now in the next step we will uh, make little bit simplifications here and we move all the terms in the right hand side to the left hand side and it will be equals to x squared plus 2x plus 1 and here you have x squared plus x squared when we move in the left hand side it will becomes minus 2 times of x squared so this is minus x in the left hand side it will becomes plus x plus 2x and here we have plus 1 in the left hand side it will becomes minus 1 and this whole equals to 0 so now in the next step we will uh, cancel the add or subtract the like terms here so now we first subtract x squared by minus 2x squared and you get here minus x squared and we have 2x plus 2x this 2x and 2x equals to plus 4 times of x and this plus 1 and minus 1 are cancelled by each other and we will get uh, the whole expression equals to 0 so in the next step uh, uh, we will take common minus x here and you obtain x minus 4 equals to 0 so that here we have two cases the first case is we write over minus x equals to 0 
and the second case is we write x minus 4 equals to 0. So in this case you will get the value of x equals to 0. But you see that here we have our x is the base of this right triangle. So you know that uh, the length of any side of triangle cannot be equals to 0. So it is not possible over x equals to 0 because our x be the base of the given triangle. So uh, it is not possible it is equals to 0 so that we will uh, we will just reject it this case because in this case you will get here the length of one side is 0 uh, which is not possible. So now we move towards our second case and in this case uh, we have x minus 4 equals to 0 and we will easily get the value of x equals to 4. So uh, in the value of x equals to 4 uh, we will find uh, all the length of three sides of the triangle and we check that is x equals to 4 satisfied uh, this uh, or satisfied our given uh, uh, question or not. So we have our base uh, should be written as x plus 1 sorry our hypotenuse is x plus 1 our perpendicular is x minus 1 so now we can uh, we can just write it as hypotenuse equals to x plus 1 and uh, we have the value of x is 4 so when you put here it will be equal to 5 so it is positive and it is hold and our base is equals to x and over x is equals to 4 so it is also hold and perpendicular is equals to x minus 1 and when you put x equals to 4 here it will becomes 3 so it is also positive value and non-zero value so it is hold so this shows that x equals to 4 be the solution of the given problem and this is the our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos